Hello guys, welcome to my channel. And today I will tell you about computer parts, so let's get started. Input-output units are any devices used to input data into a computer or output data from it. For example, when you want to input something like typing text, using a keyboard or mouse, or you want to output something, for example, using a monitor or printer, all of these devices are called I.O. devices. They can be further divided into two types. One, as mentioned earlier, input devices such as keyboard, mouse, microphone, scanner, etc., and output devices such as monitor, printer, speaker, etc. Any device that is used for both input and output purposes is called a two. An example of this type is a smartphone. Here we use our finger as an input device and the screen as an output device. The next part is ROM, which stands for read-only memory. It is a type of memory chip that stores data in a computer system. ROM is used to store firmware which is the basic software that controls the operations of a computer at the most basic level. This data cannot be removed even when the power supply is disconnected. The data stored in ROM is permanent. This is because the contents of ROM are fused onto the chip during its manufacturing and hence the name read only. However, newer ROM chips allow some limited forms of reprogramming. Such chips are referred to as OTP one-time programmable ROM. In simple words, ROM is a type of memory that permanently stores data in a computer system. RAM, which stands for Random Access Memory, is a computer's short-term memory. It is a type of memory that can be accessed randomly, hence the name Random Access Memory. RAM is used by a computer to store data and instructions that are currently in use. Unlike ROM, the data stored in RAM can be modified or removed. When you turn off your computer, all the data stored in the RAM is lost because RAM is a volatile memory. It needs power to retain data. One of the most common types of RAM is dynamic RAM or DRAM. In simple words, RAM is a type of memory that can be accessed randomly and is used by a computer to store data and instructions that are currently in use. CPU, which stands for Central Processing Unit, is the brain of a computer system. It is a complex electronic circuit that executes a set of instructions known as a program. The CPU performs all the calculations and logical operations that are required to run a computer program. Without a CPU, a computer would not be able to perform any tasks. A CPU consists of several smaller components, including arithmetic logic unit, which performs arithmetic and logical operations. Control unit, which manages the flow of data within the CPU and other components. And registers, which are small storage areas that hold data and instructions that the CPU is currently using. In simple words, CPU is the part of a computer that performs all the calculations and logical operations required to run a computer program. Other parts of a computer include a motherboard, which is the main printed circuit board that connects all the components of a computer system together, a power supply, which provides power to all the components of a computer system, hard disk, which is used to store data and programs permanently, graphics card, which is used to process and output images to a monitor, and a case, which is the enclosure, that houses all the components of a computer system. These parts work together.